Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I can't stand Ziggler. Uh, I absolutely hate her. I just absolutely hate the girl. She's so up her own ass. And she's so disconnected from literally all of humanity. It's just unreal how much of a bubble she lives in. Uh, but anyway, I've uh, found that video that you said, uh, Sony's Scam. Because um, I am a, a Sony fan. I, I used to be Xbox for years. And when the Xbox One came out, it was so trash. Uh, and there were so many problems and bugs trying to play Call of Duty with it. Uh, I got so sick of I sold it and bought PlayStation 5. And it's strange because as soon as I started playing on a PlayStation 5, instead of me getting one or two kills, I immediately advanced to seven to eight kills in the exact same games uh, because the bugs had gone. And then I found out after I went to PlayStation that there was a known issue with Xbox and Warzone on Call of Duty, that there was loads of bugs with it. So yeah, Xbox, absolute trash. We'll never have one again. Uh, so uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, but yeah, the Sony scam, uh, we'll, we'll see what that's about. Sony has well-known problems with their PlayStation 5 controllers, stick drift being the most popular issue. STICK DRIFT! Unfortunately, this issue has plagued many, and with me, it's a common problem, even with my recent one I started using in February. Luckily, since I bought it in November last year, it's still has under warranty, had any problems so with I thought the, I could just send controller? it in to get fixed. It seemed like a super easy process. Then, Should I got be. to customer service. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Though I will get to what Sony's scam actually... You, right, okay, so a number of you had then. So your haptic feedback died off, right, okay. Your top triggers stopped working, uh-huh. And your mic stopped working. Okay, so there's 10 of us in chat right now, 11, include, 11 including me. So out of 11 of us, four of us have had actually had issues with our control because the battery of my controller dies in like less than an hour. It's absolutely tragic how fast the battery dies um it's, it's I, that's another reason why i went to keyboard and mouse because the battery just died so quickly it was unreal so that's four people out of that's nearly half that's nearly 50 percent of people in this chat and everything right now that have had issues with their playstation controller so this is it must be a very common thing it, guys, anyone else, if anyone else has had problems with your controller, put, put your comments below. Let me know where, uh, I want to see who else has had problems with their PlayStation controller. It is, I first need to talk about their customer service and how bad it is, because it does tie into my theory. I it is so bad. Went from chat to chat, going through various PlayStation experts and multiple yep. phone calls. I, I had an feeling. issue. With just a few months of use, the gray text on the back of my Cosmic Red controller is barely readable, so I could not read the serial number on it, and my box was long gone. I was looking for a way to get around this issue until finally I had my answer. There is no solution. Customer service said I cannot send it in for repair without my serial number. I said surely this cannot be correct, as I have proof of purchase and... Ah, uh, right. So his problem was the text had worn off on the back of his controller. They needed the serial number on the back of the controller. It had worn off. He couldn't give it to them. And therein lies the problem. But yeah, if he's got receipts for the purchase of it. Mm, unless that receipt can tie into this serial number, which I don't see how. It shouldn't matter if he's got a receipt. Yeah, no, I agree with you. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. He should be entitled to a full refund or be able to swap it for something else. I can see why they might not want to just go, yeah, you can change it, blah, 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 because you could have a completely knackered, broken one, buy a brand new one, say that it's broken, and return the completely broken one while keeping the brand new one. Get it for that reason. Um, but there should be a way to i mean there's the serial number won't be on the box it won't be on the packaging the only place a serial number will be will be on the controller and it will not be on the receipt so the receipt will only show the purchase of a controller so again bit of a weird one doesn't matter if you still have his money back uh, okay it's under warranty. There must be some other process or information they can take. 
Yet, there is nothing Sony could do. After a full day of customer service interaction, I got nowhere. As I researched further, Sony smartly addresses my situation in their warranty in subsection F, where it says their warranty will not apply if the serial number has been altered, defaced, or removed. Intentional or unintentional, it does not matter. Luckily, after buying a magnifying glass and using liquid to make the text easier to read, I had my serial number, which I submitted. All I had to do now was fill out this contact okay. info page, but then I encountered an error saying, oops, your location doesn't allow us to proceed with the request. And then it prompted me to select the correct region, as what I put in for the info is apparently being detected as a region not in the United States. The problem persisted no matter what I tried, and after going through customer service for half a day, they were finally able to manually input everything. After this experience, I thought enough was enough. Maybe I'll finally pull the trigger on the DualSense Edge Pro controller, as I can swap out the analog sticks if there is a stick drift issue. It's expensive, but it's more of a guarantee I'll never have to go through this hell again or have to buy another... I have the uh, my uh, Xbox uh, controller, the, the like the really good one. Loved it. Really, I, I wish I could have taken taken it over to the um, the PlayStation. It was such a good controller. Really was their controller. And then with more research, it turns out the stick modules, which start at a grotesque $20 per stick, have been out of stock everywhere all the time. At that moment, a realization set in. Sony is allegedly running the greatest scam ever. Sony has constructed a controller where a person cannot easily get to the analog sticks, arguably the greatest point of failure in a controller. Even yeah. after getting to the sticks, to replace or fix them would be even more difficult and risky. Doing this also voids the warranty if it's still under it. If you uh. cannot fix the sticks yourself, then it leaves you with two options. Get a new controller or have Sony fix it. If it's out of warranty, having Sony fix it is way too expensive, so realistically getting a new controller is what you would do. If it is under warranty, like mine, Sony has seemingly gone out of their way to make it as hard as possible to successfully submit a warranty claim. Mm. They do not fix common errors on their customer. It's an absolute scam. It's, yeah, I, I'd agree with you. It, it's, it does seem like uh, Sony has thought in advance about this and gone, you know what, if we make it so hard for someone to get uh, use a warranty, they'll just buy another product. That's another sale. That's more money. I mean, remember the uh, memory expansion cards for the PlayStation ages back? Like, ludicrously expensive. Absolutely like stealing your money type expensive. Uh, so, and Sony's been done a few times for their practices. Uh, I think they've actually been done on um, uh, the rights and uh, rights of people being able to return or re get refunds for games. Um, because uh, there's a load of issues that Sony went through with that. It actually reminds me, I bought Helldivers 2 because all my mates had it. So I bought Helldivers 2 and I uh, installed it. I was on it for 10 minutes and there was a bug in my game. So I uninstalled it, installed it again. Same bug, exactly the same way as before. Couldn't get rid of it. So I went straight to Sony and said, uh, sorry, uninstalled the game again. Went straight to Sony and said, hi, don't want this game. Uninstalled it, it's faulty. And I spent a day, a day trying to get my money back, 30 odd pounds back, and I could not get my money back whatsoever. And then I, when I turned around to Sony, I said, right, well, I'll reclaim the money through my bank. They said, yeah, sure, you can do that. But if you do that, we'll block you from being able to buy anything ever again. So you have no rights. Be very careful what you buy with Sony. You can't buy a game to try it. Even if you buy a game and you have it on for 10 minutes and then you install it, I want your money back. You ain't getting your money back. So, yeah. Dodgy company. Very dodgy company. Um, as, and I'm based in the UK, so I don't know if it's like for anyone else. Customer service site, which were problems years ago. And you had loads of problems. Mm. Has anyone else had problems with Sony and customer services and things in general like that? Yes, yes, yes. I have. So it's not an uncommon thing then. They have you go in circles even with correct Their information. Shit, yeah. Ultimately, if you do not have everything they want in a process they made so complex on yeah. purpose, I know, I you do. are out of luck. This then prompts it's you to joke. take the easy yeah. way out and just buy a new controller. But hold on, my most recent controller is a newer release, being the cosmic red color. Yet they still have not fixed the stick drift issue, years after they received a class action lawsuit against them over the So just another issue problem with sony 
they have a class action. Uh, they have a, a class action lawsuit against them. Um, Sony PlayStation Five controller defect lawsuit dismissed. Oh, dismissed. The group plaintiffs want to dismiss Sony for selling PlayStation Five controller defect controllers. So stick to problems. Thus, even if you buy a new controller, it's a matter of time before you're back in the same situation. All the while, Sony is essentially forcing people to buy controller after controller since. Yeah, and bear in mind, what, it's like 10 years between generations of new play consoles. So if you have to get a new controller every year, which is feasible, completely feasible, that's what, say, £70 for a legitimate PlayStation controller. So that's seven hundred quid. That's more. You're, you're, so you do. You'll be spending more on controllers through the uh, console's life than the actual console cost to buy. Process terrible and won't fix the root cause of the stick drift issue. At this point, you are right where they want you. You either keep buying controllers or you spend three times the amount of money to get the DualSense Edge, which solves the issue. Except brilliantly, it does not solve anything. In order to switch out the sticks in the DualSense Edge, you need to buy stick modules. These stick modules are out of stock everywhere, and in the past few months have only been in stock on the PlayStation website, where they sell out almost instantly. The reason this is happening is quite simple. Sony has not made nearly enough stick modules, and I would argue they've yeah. done this on purpose. The percentage of people with the Pro Controller is low. And because if someone goes, you know what, I'll upgrade and go to the, the really good Sony controller, then they go, that's brilliant. Thinking that, you know, if something goes wrong, I'll swap it out. They'll go on and they'll try and swap, uh, buy the replacement part. Can't find it. Sold out. Look everywhere. Can't find it. Sold out. And then you're in a problem. What do I do? Either I try and continue playing with a control that's really, really bad and is continuing to get worse while waiting for this part to come in, or... Do I go and buy another brand new controller for seventy pounds, even though I just spent three hundred pounds on this one? And you'll and most people will go. I'll keep on looking. I'll keep on looking, and they'll keep on looking for the controller part that they need to the point where the controller is so bad they have no choice but to go and buy another controller. And then you're going. Well, I'm not going back to the really expensive controller because I can't get it fixed. So I'll just keep buying more controllers. So then you've done 70, so you've done a uh, PlayStation controller for 70, another one, another one, upgraded, so spent 300 quid, can't get it fixed. Then you've gone back to buy normal controllers. So instead of being going 70, so instead of costing you 700 pounds, it's then actually been a thousand pounds because you dare to try and get the better controller to try and sort your issue out. So you're spending nearly double what you spent on the console it is smart really smart the absolute beep studs yeah it makes sense scummy yeah yeah drift usually occurs only in one stick this means Sony Bastard. really shouldn't have an issue keeping up with demand. So being constantly sold out seems to be a strategic tactic on Sony's end. Now, if you've invested in the Pro Controller mm. and of stick issues, you either pay a huge premium on eBay for stick modules or do what Sony wants you to do, buy another controller. It's a great scam. <coughs> I mean, business strategy. You do not fix a well-known issue, have horrible customer service and glitches preventing warranty claims, make people buy more flawed controllers, and have your premium controller not actually solve the issue because you chose not to make enough stick replacements. Pretty much the only meaningful accessory to the Pro Controller. I would love to be hopeful and say they'll fix the issue, that they are not actually scamming people. But given what's currently happening, it's just wishful thinking. We're more than halfway through the PlayStation 5's life cycle, and this problem still has not gone away nearly, or gotten better. If anything, it's... I'd, I'd say we're coming up to halfway through its life. Another year... Maybe two will be halfway through its life cycle. I mean, but bear in mind, we're about a year to maybe two years away from halfway through its life cycle. How many games have really been made just for the PlayStation 5 compared to how many games have been made for the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4? Because virtually all games are still being made for PlayStation 4. 
what was the point even upgrading to PlayStation 5? Because the output for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 are almost identical. There's, there's, it's very hard to tell the difference between a PlayStation 4, between a game running on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So what was the point? We've not really had any real games made for PlayStation 5. I mean, Call of Duty a year or two ago said that they're only going to make a game for PlayStation 5 going forward. They haven't done. They're still making it for PlayStation 4. Because they've still got because they don't want to write off a huge base of a uh, huge portion of the player base who are still on PlayStation Four. It was completely and utterly pointless upgrading to the PlayStation Five. It's a really powerful machine that's basically not being utilised at all, apart from a very few select games. Worse, Sony knows exactly what is going on and loves it. Unfortunately, that sucks it's for joke, everyone yeah. else. You're Thank still you for watching, 4. and I'll see you all in the next bit. Yeah, like I said, you're still on PlayStation. All right, uh, uh, out of the 11 people that are here now, who, how many of you are on PlayStation 5? I'm on Xbox. Xbox. Uh, okay, fair enough. So there's people on Xbox still, that's fine. Xbox X. Xbox 360. You're on Xbox 360? Really? Well, bit of a plug here. At a thousand subscribers, I am giving away a PlayStation One S. So, guy with three PlayStation Three Hundred and Sixty, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, mate, because um, you might win a PlayStation. Uh, sorry, the next box One S. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, but what? There's four or five of us here that have uh, have Playstations, and three of you had PlayStation Four. Two of us have PlayStation. Well, three of us, including me, PlayStation Five. So there's half of us are on PlayStation Four, half of us are on PlayStation Five. So yeah, but I'll be honest, it makes perfect sense what he said. Perfect sense, and it does seem like an absolute scam. To be fair. <laughs>